Mockwell Tom has, has a charm all its own. You smell the ohia blossoms, you hear the Hawaiian birds, and you're really at peace. As Hawaiian culture developed and the population grew, there was a lot of Hawaiians living up here. Our great-great-grandfather came out as a doctor with the third group of missionaries that came to Hawaii. As the sugar industry developed, they needed workers. My grandfather came from China. The Portuguese came mainly to get away from the poverty of the Azores. My parents, both of them, were born in Hiroshima, Japan. We didn't even know we were poor, <laughs> because we all were. In those days, if you needed something, you did it yourself. My, my first memory as a child was actually December 7, 1941. And that was the beginning, a real change, because overnight we saw barracks coming up. Mako really put out their heart and minds to these service people. I mean, it was a sad time, but yet we benefited from the war. We had a lot of mom and pop stores. I still walk up to a Matsui store, buy a loaf of bread for a dime. Of course, we had some uh, legendary stories about the horse coming into the barn. That was true. July 4th weekend has always historically been the Makawa Rodeo Weekend. We have rodeos, we rodeo. We would hear the cowboys, hoi, 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 we would know, oh, here comes the cows. As kids, we used to ride all over this mountain. All the gates didn't have locks. We all knew everybody's names, and we all celebrated in different ways. It was a simpler time, and we never, ever, ever expected it to end.